Hi everyone. In July of 2018, some of my hypnosis clients while in hypnosis began to channel. Today, 27 months later, there are now 25 of these channelers and this podcast features one of them. Now, if you don't know what channeling is, check my website at www.peterhdennis.com and click on the channeling tab. You can also see lots about channeling on YouTube. Now today, my guest is Susan Swan James, and Susan channels an eighth dimensional group named Soldier. After I ask Susan a couple of questions about herself, she will then go into the altered state of consciousness where she can connect with Soldier, and I will then direct some questions to them. So Susan, welcome to the podcast. Hi, glad to be here. Good. Susan, I know our audience would like to know a little about you. Can you fill us in a bit on things like where you grew up, some of the schooling you did, maybe some jobs you had, that sort of thing? Oh, my. Well, we don't have that kind of time. (laughs) And the reason I say that is I was born into a military family and we moved a lot. And then since then, I've moved a lot, too. I've lived in 51 different places and I've had about 47 different jobs. So, you know, it's just um, been a diverse background that I have. But, you know, I think that in all of those things, the one thing that really is the overarching trait or quality I have really is, well, it comes down to, I have an adopted name. So my name is Susan James, but often my professional name is Susan Swan James. And the swan, the spirit animal, really demonstrates an animal that looks graceful and serene and can, no matter what is going on. And I've adopted that name, my nickname when I worked in film and television, when I worked there full time was Grace Under Fire. Because no matter what, was going on I still kept my focus and my calm even when others around me were freaking out and I think that that really is the overarching quality I've had throughout all the all the hardship and fun you know all the adventures I've had in my life and I have really learned that I don't have a corner on this it's not like my I've discovered that being able to tap into your inner peace and calm and joy is something that we all can do. We think we have to go outside of ourselves to get that, but we can do that ourselves. And so what I really enjoy doing is helping others lead others from joy and teaching them how to do that so that they make their more present, they make more mindful decisions and they have a better quality of life. So I think that really kind of sums up what I'm all about. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've been channeling for just a short time now, but has that impacted your life at this point? You know, it really has. I really realized that um, I've channeled all my life. I just didn't really recognize it. I just thought maybe there were voices in my head or that it was something outside of me. And really, we are all connected. We're all one. So I've really come to accept that... um, that I am a channeler and that it gives me greater clarity and peace. And it really helps an extra dimension for me to help others to really tune in to guidance. Mm -hmm. Well, you channel a group now, as I understand it, of 14 individuals who have had a military past and uh, you come from a military family. Yes. There seems to be a natural marriage there. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to uh, go into the relaxed state that you do and bring these folks forward and I'll have a conversation with them. Okay, that sounds that sounds fantastic. Good. Hello. Well, soldier, welcome to the podcast. We are glad, pleased to be here. Very good. Now, I know our audience is very curious about you, and I was wondering if you could take a few minutes and just tell us about yourself. Um, 
Are you physical? Are you located anywhere? What dimension of consciousness are you? Why are you here? Why are you working with Susan? Just fill in a bunch of blanks like that for us, if you would, please. We are a group of soldiers and affiliate ones. And our mission is to help with the ascension, the improvement of humanity. We are working with Susan. She has agreed. We are in a higher dimension, eighth dimension. We, we wish to assist numerous ways, including assisting those with PTSD. In dealing with PTSD, I'm wondering if there are any preventative steps that someone in the military might take. I'm wondering if you have any particular advice for soldiers as to how they might avoid those situations that would bring on PTSD and still do their job, I guess. PTSD, the response to trauma, physical, mental, emotional, and ways to prepare are not ways that humanity up until now has learned to do. Humans navigate their experience using their emotions as a signpost. They can. They haven't learned to do this yet. In particular, the military, organizations and peoples like first responders, are trained to be tough, overcome, adapt in the middle of a response. However, what people have not learned to do is use those emotions as a guidepost, not to be feared, not to be pushed away, but as part of the solution, how to navigate healing. Knowing this and practicing it in non-combative situations in advance is really the only way to prepare. From your perspective, do you see a time when humans will not need a military? The military, as experienced and created by humans up until now, has served humans in how they feel they need to respond to differences of opinion. As humanity evolves, and it will take time, as humanity evolves, they will learn other ways to resolve and stand side by side with differing opinions, the role of the military will evolve as well. Now, I have heard, but have no validation for this, but are there military forces off the planet Earth, other civilizations, 
or let's say, uh, are there wars going on in the cosmos that we don't know about? War, as you know it here on Earth, is not, is not known elsewhere. Mm -hmm. That is somewhat comforting. Now, you mentioned that you are probably going to emphasize uh, military and PTSD uh, through Susan. Are you also intending to work with Susan with other audiences or just the general public? Susan has a wide range of experience, including PTSD. She has experienced PTSD herself. And so all of the what she has learned in her life has given her a broad range to speak to many types of people. She has had experienced a lot of difficulty in her experience here in this lifetime. And so she can speak to those who have dealt in emergency and difficult circumstances. And she has empathy to deal with that. And so we can deal with many types of peoples, the military and first responders, and also other people who have experienced trauma and difficulty in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. You mentioned at the beginning that you're here to assist humans through the ascension process. How do you intend to go about that? Is it pretty much in these areas you've just uh, talked about the military first responders, etc., or is it more general, widespread than that? As people learn to use this skill set of using their emotions and understanding that what they experienced is lodged in their body. And PTSD and other experiences are coming up for release. It's not to be feared. As they learn this, they will be able to integrate what they're experiencing and to move into more often other dimensions or to experience, to realize they are experiencing multiple dimensions all at the same time within them this will help them to move up humanity is ascending without anyone's help however we can assist the process and make it easier through understanding these principles of how energy and emotions can help the human race Are there specific steps that individual humans can take to move their progress or ascension along a little faster? Susan doesn't realize it right now, but her programs will be that she is developing will help a broad, broad number of people. She's a little bit hesitant about bringing them to the four, and that is why they're not yet developed, but she is coming out with them. There are steps that she will be itemizing, as well as other leaders in this field. The steps that can be taken are quite simple. Hmm. Hmm. We don't wish to say anything further about this at this time. Okay. 
our time is running out on us here. And I was wondering if perhaps you have um, a message generally for humanity that you could sort of wrap up our time with. Life is meant to be lived. Love is all there is. We are all here on earth for a purpose. We are serving that purpose even when we are not aware we are serving it. Even when we make mistakes, we are serving our purpose. If humans could realize that they are carrying out and fulfilling their mission even when they make choices they think are wrong or unkind, they are still expanding the universe. And we are so grateful for all you are doing here on earth. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much. And thank you for being here on this podcast today. Uh, we look very forward to more recordings with you and Susan. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye for now. Okay, Susan, you just come back at your own pace. Take your time, feel comfortable. <sighs> Welcome <was> back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It felt a little bit um, interesting. Yeah. I haven't fully, when I'm speaking and channeling, because sometimes I just write things down, um, I feel kind of the energy pulsing through me a little bit. I haven't really gotten used to the flow of it yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yes. Well, Susan, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to do that? Oh, well, the best way is to go to my website. There is, um, if they can email me through the website, they can take a look around. It's just uh, for, you know, I've just gotten started with getting the website going. And that, uh, that website address is SusanSwanJames.com. Very good. Well, thank you, Susan, for doing the podcast and for bringing in the soldiers. This was fascinating. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, folks, that's our podcast for today. If you enjoyed it and would like to listen to or download some others, you can do so by going to my website at www.peterhdennis.com and clicking on the channeling tab. Once there, click on the channeler's subfolder and find the channeler of your choice. A final point, I have recently started a Facebook group entitled The Channeling Connection. It's a group for channelers, for those curious about channeling, and for those who may want to become a channeler. Check it out. Join if you'd like. Ask a question. Or if you have an opinion, contribute to the discussion. Well, that's it. So long for now.